Michelle Lee here from With You Every Step Travel Podcast, back with another episode of cooking my guests' recipes from all around the world. Today, we're going to go to South Africa. But again, I can't do this by myself. I need some help. I wonder who I should ask. Should I ask? Hi, I'm a dentist. No, I'm not. I'm a mediocre home chef who absolutely did not break a plate before we roll camera. Troy Larkin, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Troy, for joining me again. Yes, oh, Troy thanks. did just smash a plate. That didn't happen because uh, I'm professional. Uh, Everywhere. Th Thank you for inviting me to South Africa. You are welcome. Via these ingredients to which what we're going to make? We're going to make a malfa pudding. Malfa. Malfa. It is spelled M-A-L-V-A. So, so how would you say that? Malva. Malva. Yeah. Most people would, but not South Africans. They say Malfa. Malfa. And yeah. if you're not sure, listen to Cheryl Ruthen, who's my guest on my episode, listen that, to that told me exactly how to say it. So I just said it like a South African. Yeah. Not Malva. Malfa. Malfa. Malva. Pudding. Malva is a name in a Seinfeld episode. Malfa is the delicious dessert we're about to make. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So what we need to do is this looks lovely. It does look lovely. It's actually pretty easy. So I've already put some ingredients into my glass bowl so it makes me look like I'm a yeah. bit of a, a professional Careful, chef. Careful, they break easy. <laughs> so we have one cup, cup of, flour. of flour. I've used gluten-free flour. Fine that's what me. I need. And it's a heaped cup. So not a flat cup. A little bit and on top. And you don't even need to sift it, I was told. A little extra. No sifting. No sifting, sifting. business no, here. No. This is all whipping it in no. South African style. Yeah, no South African sift. No sifting. No, nah, no. Nah. So I'm going to get Troy to crack an egg. He's been very good at cracking things today. Hey, none of that. <laughs> so I'm going to get him to crack an egg. And, and then, give it a bit of a... And then, I'm going to beat it up. He's going to beat right, it up. Here we go. You got this, Troy. You got this. Oh, I'm pretty good at these sort of things. Ow! I'm just joking. Um, so good job. I'll put that in the bin for you. Thanks. I love that I get tried to do the messy work. So there we go. Look, so not too bad. I'm not. I'm not totally, you know, mediocre. Okay. So we Just also have above mediocre. One cup of sugar. One yeah, cup. Very important. Going in to the my sugars, bowl. The sugars. Um, one beaten egg. There you go. Does that go in? Not yet. Not yet. Maybe. Uh, I'm going to put the butter in though. Yeah, how much of that? We have a tablespoon of butter. A tablespoon of butter. I have let it sit out for a little bit to soften. Yeah. And like the flour, a bit extra to the butter. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So Sweet. I think we do that. Sugar. Butter, sugar. Uh, butter. So we're gonna we're gonna cream the sugar and butter first. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Or do you want me to do it? You do it. Um. Do you want me to do it? Are you gonna do it without breaking the bowl? <laughs> this is gonna be a recurring theme. All right, here you it's go. a plastic bowl. How can I break it? It is plastic. I'll find a way. Don't you worry. Uh oh. Not too hard, remember? Uh, yeah. The, I remember we've used this before. Yeah, it's my mum's. This goes from zero to a billion. So yeah. just... oh, already. Let's try and slide in a bit. Um... I think it needs some liquid. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> I think we need to add the egg in. Well, I think we need to add all that jazz and then... Egg the, and then... Yeah. Ooh, egg. Smells bad. It's just this yeah. this thing. Uh, what about the flour? Sugar, butter, yeah. apricot. So, we put that... What so, we it needs apricot jam. Mm. I don't really have much jam. We're gonna hold. Oh, look how strong I am. Holy oh, I am woman, hear me roar. Oh! oh. Okay. Numbers <laughs> too big to ignore. So, how much jam? Two tablespoons. Um, I love jam. And I'm going to do light. Yeah. Well, this whole recipe is about going a bit over the top. We've decided. Yeah. Sugar, butter, jam, egg, beat. Now, okay, we're good. Now, it. beat that bad boy. Oops. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, now we're, now we're, now we're coming. Pause button. Oh. That's good to know. <laughs> I didn't know it had a pause button. <laughs> Get there, it's just smoother. Get it smoother. Like, you have some apricot, depending on. We've got the 
It's meant to be smooth, not, not... Yeah, but this is... I thought it was smooth. Oh, made in France. We're making South African with French jam. That's all right. Lumpy. They got me. I thought it said smooth, and it doesn't. It no. says something in French. Uh, it says le lumpy. <laughs> okay, so we need... Just be le lumpy. Bicarbonate of soda. Let me just pause for a second. What was that? We need both. Sorry. <laughs> Bicarbonate of soda! I didn't hear. Bicarbonate of soda. <laughs> Pretty noisy. Okay, so a bit bicarb. Bicarb. How much? One teaspoon. And keep mixing? Keep it mixing! Then goes the bicarb. And one cup of milk. Oh, look at that. That's like a giant cat bowl <laughs> of milk. Yeah, my cat would be like, give me that! Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh no, I'm not gonna Oh, 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 That's quite thin now. Oh, no, we've got flour to go, that's right. Oh, we should put the flour in. Really? Let's put the flour in. Oh, my God. She said you just chuck it all in. It all goes in one bowl, so let's just do it. And we also need... Usually add the wet to the dry, but we don't muck around here. We do whatever we want. Yeah. There we go. That's got to be the consistency way. Okay, so I've never used vinegar in a dessert before. Have you? Mm. No. So Cheryl said brown but, is better. But I've also never been to South Africa before, so. I have, and Cheryl didn't make me this dessert, so mm. if it's good, she's in trouble. Now, this white vinegar is all I had, so it's two tablespoons, so I'm going to put this in as well. Okay. One, oh my gosh. Vine it seems, gar. It seems very. Love the vine gar. Oh my god. Nothing happened. Looks great. Cool. Keep mixing. Keep mixing. Until so it's all mixed up. Um, just a little bit longer, not much, not much longer now. I Look, I've time. discovered why they call it jam, because it jams up the thing. Oh, is it jam? Look, it's, it's not jam, but it's got jam. <laughs> oh my god. Are we done with this now? Yeah. Ew. It is quite watery. If you can see. Oh, I hope we haven't stuffed it up, have we? No. I don't think so, no. I think this is how it should be. Cheryl said you put it all in. Are you sure it's two tablespoons of vinegar? That's what she said. Okay, it's happening. I'm just going with what the recipe says. So, pour into a rectangular oven dish, bake 180 degrees Celsius, okay. Fahrenheit, you do the math. Sorry, can you hold that bowl up a bit high? Yeah, it's not hold up, hold up. <laughs> Let me get professional. There we go. Okay, you got so this. Work? Hold it up. Just this? Up so people can oh, see. okay. Come on, let's go on there. Oh no, this, it's, it's a, that's a batter. It's, it's a thin batter. See, it's a thin batter. That's okay. So if I got the apricot jam that was smooth, which is what I thought I was buying... Doesn't matter. Get the, get the lumpy one. It's got lumps in it. But it's lumps of fruit, not lumps of batter. So True. Okay, so now it's ready to go in the oh, oven. Oh, that's breakable. Anyway, let's pop it in the oven. So 180 Celsius. If you're in Fahrenheit, I think it's around 350. If it's, if it's in Fahrenheit, we don't care. Um, oh, yeah. It could be about 350. Google it, double check. We're going to put it in the you oven some work. for about 40 minutes until the top is golden brown. Okay. So, what is this going to look like? Is it turned into like a cake? Is it yeah, cake? it's meant to. We're going to okay. see. I don't know. Okay, Troy, okay. I've never made it before. Okay, yeah, let's do it. So, we took it out of the oven. We took it out of the oven. And look. We have not spent 40 minutes looking at cat videos on TikTok. So don't even think that's what we were doing. Look at this. In that 40 minutes, this happened. It's brown and smells, smells delicious. amazing. Okay, so we've got... We need to make some sauce. Sauce that we've got to do quickly. So... Okay, so what in this sauce needs? A cup of cream. Holy dooly. A cup of cream. Three quarters a cup of sugar. A bit of sugar. Three quarters a cup of sugar. sugar. So there's... Yeah. Holy... What is the average age of a South African oh. person? <laughs> I don't know, but it can't be too long because look at this! A little bit of butter. What do we got? Yeah. A tablespoon. A tablespoon of butter. And now, recipe calls for caramel essence. But what we've got here is maple. 
Yeah, I couldn't find caramel essence. I'm not sure if it's a South African thing. It could be. Uh, you could use vanilla essence, which I was tempted to do, but then I found... Maple's cool. Maple, pure maple extract. So I thought I will buy it because it tastes delicious and I may just want to drink it straight. But I would not recommend that because Don't it has a very high, high amount of alcohol in it. Yeah, don't do that. Don't don't, do that. You didn't hear it here. Well, yeah. Uh, but give us a whiff. Oh, smells like. Oh my god, it smells pancakes. like pancake. Mmm, delicious. One tablespoon. What? Um. Can I put a tablespoon in? It I says. I want a lot of this. Smells no, no, teaspoon, teaspoon. Oh. You, remember, you made the mistake, right? Oh. Gosh. I know, but I we're don't almost... want to put a tablespoon in. No, okay. it smells like so good. Teaspoon. Now we're gonna heat this on the stove, right? Am I correct? That shiz. Oh, so it's dark. Is, whoa. That's like maple syrup times a bill. So uh, Cheryl said that she only started doing this recently of adding this in and it just adds, which is why her recipe is better than most, apparently. Yeah. So gonna, now we're going to heat this up. I was going to heat this up to the sauce, yeah, not to the top. If, if anything, this recipe does not have enough butter and sugar. That's the only problem. But guess what? That's makes things amazing. Desserts, desserts should be dangerous. So you only need to do it until you melt everything. <laughs> so you, so we pour this sauce over the top. the top. It's the sauce that makes it mm, so, so good. So it looks a little bit dry yeah, at the moment. Right now, I think once we put the sauce on, I Cheryl know. said that we put it back in the oven, but the oven's off. So turn the oven off, but it stays nice and toasty warm. So then we put it back in and just let it sit for a, probably five minutes. <laughs> I hope it you enjoy is, watching Sean and I trying to make these recipes. If you do, make sure that you do like the thing. You know that everyone tells you to do like like it, subscribe, yeah, all of that. But, but don't jazz. Stick, don't stick your finger in it because she'll get upset. Don't stick your finger in things. Just use the back of your hand to test the sponginess. So I actually went to South Africa for my beautiful friend Cheryl who was on my episode for her daughter's wedding and so they took me all around. So this episode actually has got very serious parts to it because we go into detail about the racism and what South Africa was like, especially during apartheid. So if you're not aware of apartheid, listen to this episode. Cheryl gives a really good explanation of what she lived through and how it changed and where South Africa is today. And then the desserts they eat. Mm. I want to live on a deserted island. It's an island full of desserts. That'd be good. If you have any questions, you can email us at with you every step podcast at gmail.com. Anything, if you would like to hire Troy and I, feel free to drop us a line. Okay. It's perfect. All right. Are you going to do it? Do you want me to do it? Yeah, I want you to do sure? it. Are you sure? I do. Okay. Pour it nicely. Okay. All, all over the top, yeah. All so over so the top. So I'm going to use the spoon as a little, a little help here. Oh my God, this is insanity. It's delicious. This is truly insane. For real? Might be better as dry. It's on the edge, yeah. That's it, that's it. All of it? All of it. Are you sure? Is there heaps left in there? Yeah, just pour it, pour it in. Pour it in, it's a pudding. Careful. Oh, yes. I'm tripping. This is nuts. Okay. It's, like a little, it's like a little island in a lake of awesomeness. Okay. How long the back? It looks line? ready and it looks good. It's soaked in and it looks like a pudding. Yeah. Oh my god, it's it's oh. oh, oh. It looks delicious. It what looks Let's eat some of it and see what happens to us. Mm. That's no. ridiculous. It's really, it's ridiculous. I'm excited to try it. Okay, I've separated it into half so you can mm. have yours a little bit. I'll have my little bit. A bit of ice cream. A little bit of ice cream. I'm getting a bit of the corner here. That's a lot. Looks like a lot to me. Bam! That's so bad. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I am kidding. It's amazing. I've just always wanted to do that. You know when you watch
much cooking shows yeah, they get the, yeah. mm. it's so good it is really good but okay. i just really wanted to do that it is delicious thank you cheryl holy moly kind of tastes like a, a sticky date pudding yeah there's a touch of that hey and like we did we did the maple essence mm. and i think that was all mm -hmm. the better for it I don't think it'd be as good with vanilla essence. No. Well, it, we did. What, what was the essence? Caramel essence. It's meant to be caramel essence, and I did maple essence. Maple. I, yeah, maple. I don't think that's been a bad thing. Delicious. A bit of vanilla ice cream, oh god. I'm just gonna sit here and eat this whole thing. No, I can't. It's no, so I good. Have to. It's so good. But there's, you could do it with custard. Yeah, it would be nice with custard too. I've got custard. We can put custard on. <laughs> <laughs> this is enough. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank mm. you, Troy, for joining mm. me and cooking like a master chef. I know you're amazing. So head over to With You Every Step Travel Podcast. I hope you enjoy. You can get all the information, all about how to make this, and much more. Hope to see you soon.